All right, man. Welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And if you're new, welcome to Agree to Disagree. Uh, shoot. <laughs> ah. All right, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. All right. All right, man. Welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And if you're new, welcome to Agree to Disagree. Got my boy Jay Lloyd, Coach Pops, Craig, and we got B in the cut. I feel like it's that time. I feel like we all locked in. Let's get this pot. You know what I mean? Let's get this Kool-Aid in. Um, I don't know if you guys heard the news today, but Brandon Ingram won the 2020 Most Improved Player in the league. Congratulations to B.I. for that. Yeah, he did. But here's my question for, for first the host and then the rest of the panel. So I did my research. Yes, sir. Um, the host oh, has been so quick man. to talk about B.I. and B.I. being a franchise player and then using this most improved player uh, award as a springboard. So let me talk about the last 10 most improved players. Mm. B.I. 2020, 2019 Siakam, 2018 Oladipo, 2017 Giannis, okay. mm. 2016 C.J. McCullough, Okay. 2015, Jimmy Butler. Okay. 2014, Goran Dragic. Mm -hmm. 2013, Paul George. Okay. 2012, Ryan Anderson. Okay. 2011, Kevin Love. Mm -hmm. 2010, Aaron Brooks. So my question to y'all real quick is, we can arguably say we have one superstar on this list. Which, which will be, be Giannis. Giannis, which oh, okay. y'all was right about Giannis. Paul George, we don't know why. We can't. Nah. So he took LeBron seven games, but we ain't gonna talk about that. He, he, okay, okay. So what where, where does Bi fit? If we gotta look at all these guys and their careers after they won this award, where do y'all feel like Bi fits? Would he is he gonna be a superstar? Is he gonna be a star? And if he's just a star, has he underachieved? Has he achieved? Well, yeah, like if, if he ends up being on the level of a going Dragic, who was an all star, who was a really good player, mm -hmm. for you, has he underachieved if he's not, say, a Giannis? I only see one. We could say Paul George with Indiana. We could, that's, our, that's debatable. So 1.5 of these guys were superstars after winning this award. So. Where where does the eye fall? Are you asking me? I'm gonna ask you first, and then we yeah, and you can ask the rest of the time. I appreciate that. Uh, first of all, Jay, that is a great question. Um, my personal opinion. <laughs> um, I always said um, he reminds me not a play style, but in terms of how good he can be. I always said Paul George. Now this is when. We had a little bit more respect for Paul George, obviously. Um, so <laughs> I think he'll be better than Paul George. Um, mm. Yeah, mm. I think he'll be mm. better than Paul George. Um, mm. I don't think he'll be mm. like a Giannis. I don't think. I don't think so. So I want to say in between Paul George and Giannis. <laughs> he's going to be better than PG. I say he's going to be, yes. Ooh, okay, y'all go ahead. Ooh. Bold statement. It's on the air. It's on the air. Uh, are we are we basing this off because he was like the number two overall pick, or what are, are we basing it off like, you know, just because of you know John? Like, great question. I was for <laughs> me. I was I was basing it off of these guys winning the award and what they did after winning an award like this. Do they? take this award and then end up being one of the best players in the world? Do you take this award and you're just a, an all-star? Do you take this award you fall off? So I was more basing it on that. Okay. Uh, I would say a star. Just if, if, if he, he – obviously he has to keep pooping, but I think obviously – not that he got a bad rap in L.A., but just, you know, I, I don't think that was – like you always talk about fits. I don't think – LA was the right fit for him personally, just because I don't know. I wouldn't say he wasn't ready for the spotlight, but I just don't know if the Lakers are ready for him 
to be that guy, so to speak. Uh, obviously, you know, you had Lonzo, you had other young cats, and now he started playing better. And then, you know, obviously we traded him, and he did, obviously did killed it this year. But I don't think he'll ever be a superstar. I never saw him as a superstar. Obviously, everybody compared him to KD because, you know, how long he is. And, and that I think he is tough, but I, I, think he, I think he'll be up there with, like, the – not Giannis, like, superstar status, but in that, that category of award winners, like, up there with them. I don't think he'll be, like, with Ryan Anderson. Like, we'll forget about him five years from now and he's out the league type stuff. So. Go ahead, Craig. Yeah, I think he's – in all fairness, I think he's trending in the right direction. I think he had – you know, a lot of accolades coming out of Duke, you know, obviously he could shoot versus, you know, Ben Simmons or whatever. And I always hoped his game could be as good as Kevin Durant. And I think he has a potential to do that. And I'm, and I'm hoping he will. I'm just not sold that he'll get there, but I'm interested to see where his game transpires. I, I would love to see him hit the, hit the jumper really consistently to be really compared to a KD. I just don't know where his game is going to translate if he's not able to do that in this league. And it also depends on the style of play, the offense he's in, you know. Yeah. Now, going to the Lakers, they had a lot of young dudes. We, we talked about this last week. You know, he's able to play. You know what I mean? When you're a player and you're allowed to just go somewhere and play without pressure, you ain't worried about playing time, you're not worried about playoffs and this and that and the other. I think he was a, he, he developed because of that. But I'm really interested to see what he does next year. How do, what does he do with this award? Does it make his game better, or is it, does he get complacent? I'm just really not too sure about where his game is going to go if he really can't consistently knock down the jumper. That's my Obviously, take. Z- yeah, I think Zion being the man on the team and the face of that franchise is going to affect him. I know Jay always talk about that too. So I think that's going to hurt him a little bit um, along that line. So. I, I agree with Craig. I, I, I don't think that may not hurt him, I don't think. I mean, first of all, I think they, they might have too many dudes where they got to get rid of some people if they really want to contend to bring some veterans in, some key pieces for them to win a playoff series. But with Zion, we really don't know his longevity, his health. You know, I think B.I. is in a good spot there. I think there's more pressure on Zion than it is on him to perform. I think they made him – I feel like – I agree. I, I see what you're saying, but I just feel like I always thought Ingram needed to be that. Like, he was that in high school. He was that in at Duke at the time, even with other five-star recruits. With the Lakers, it was always Lonzo. They're young. Like you said, they don't really have pressure. Like, now, you know, you go to New Orleans, you're killing off, but it's still like, yeah, we don't know what Zion's going to do, but Zion is that face. Like, that's who they're marketing. That's who's selling the tickets. That's who's going to get the ball. That's who's pick and roll lob to him. Like, is he going to be able to be on that ball? He was this year, but that was without Zion. You know what I mean? And we joked about it. When Zion came back, he kind of took a little, you know, step back. He wasn't in the spotlight as much. So. Pops. Uh, Paul George, putting him with Paul George, I, I, I that's going to be tough because Paul George played, you know, we talk about PG, PG. He, he, he played lockdown defense. And I don't, I don't think Brandon Eden is ready to be on both sides of the ball. My problem with it, <laughs> and, and, no, is that, is that, no, he, 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 he was leaps and bounds better. Than, he had a great year. He had a great year. He had a great bounce back year. But when I checked it out, he was number one. Bam was number two. Luca was number three. Bam and Luca both are in the playoff. And now if now here's my part with BI. They had the easiest road, the easiest road to make it to that AC. Adam Silver couldn't have set him up no better. Adam Silver couldn't have set it up no better what he did. And they blew it. They Blew it, B.I., Zion, all of them. They blew it. They didn't take advantage of it. But now, most improved, you you got to, you know, he was most improved player. If he was most improved, then what was Bam and Luka? Second and third place. But they <laughs> broke the playoffs. Who had more talent? 
Luca or B.I.? You said what? Wait, wait, wait. You said on their team, Luca or B.I.? Who has more talent on their team? Yeah. Luca. Really? Okay. Come on, man. You can't be bad. <laughs> Stop doing this, man. <laughs> that's, hey, that's a good point. That's a good point, too. Because I, I brought, no, I brought not, this up. Man. No, no, real quick, though. Like, he has a point, though. That's the one thing we when we argue about this, Ken, and I think, Jay, to your point, this is a deciding factor for me because John said that he said, I feel like B.I. is special. My thing is, can you lead a team to the playoffs? Even if, even if yeah, as a young can player. Can we get a full roster? Well, that, can that's our, what I'm can saying. Our, can our best – our quote only franchise player faces the program, play more than 10 games. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's not going to get there with the squad Play more squad than he seven has. or eight minutes. He's, like, he's not going to get in the playoffs with the squad he has. That's why I said they're going to have to reconstruct the team, bring some veteran pieces in there. But is he going to be that type of player? If he's that type of player that can lead his team, you know, in a playoff series, then I think that defines who he is. And yes, that's, not, that's not a lot to ask for no, if he's not. a special player. we get, Hey, you know what? We get better every year. Um, so, um, Leading and winning is uh, oh, no, is what's, what's, Pop, get your boy, is what's his next on our uh, on our <laughs> list. You know what I mean? The guy's on TV right now talking about his uh, key award and what's next. So I'll watch that later and let you guys know what he said. But okay, no, I tell you what. What is next? What's the next step point, John? What's the next step point? Um, winning games, man. Winning games. Um, being more consistent and not this is third or down. fourth, huh? It's fourth. This is third or fourth year. The fourth year. Year four. Um, we got to consistently knock that jumper down, like Craig said. What's, um, what's the, is this Luca's second year? It's his second Ooh. year. Oh. The yeah, second yeah. year, bro. Got a better constructed team, though. That that Mavericks team has pieces around him for him to be successful, though. But look, look, man, come on. It they does. He does. Uh, they do, pops. Hey man, they they go, do. man. I'm, I'm, I'm done with pops, man. I'm, I'm not, not saying he didn't have. A <laughs> I'm not disagree with you. I'm just saying the Mavericks do have a solid team around Doncic, <laughs> which pops. is true. It's <laughs> facts. What, what, Who what? had more talent? What? I'm not saying B.I. Be... didn't have talent, but I feel like it's a better constructed team. X. But so I, is... I would say, I would say better constructed talent after Porzingis. It's debatable because you got Porzingis, which is he can a go a bunch of shooters. But the, but you to have compliment Drew his game, Jay. Drew Stop, man. Josh Stop. Hart. They got Josh they got Hart. three point Drew. guards on the floor. <laughs> and, then, and none of them can shoot. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> We got Drew Holiday. I was going to say, they're going to blow it up. That, that team will get blown up. They, they, they want to win a playoff series. They're going to blow that team up. Can I get off to this or no? No, because okay. I know where you're going. And, and you and you know. No. But if, if that's the case, John, when, they made, <laughs> they made, when the Lakers made that trade, everybody said AC will be the Pelican. Everybody said AC will be the Pelican. AC will be the Pelican. That's when they drafted who? When they when they when they made the trade with the Lakers, everybody said AC gonna be. Lit. And that's because oh, that's they had right. the number one pick. They, made three years they had ago. the number one picks. That trade was oh, made man. during the season. He played fifteen games. They did, but they did. The league did set it up, bro. Like they, they did. They created, yeah. they created a rule for the Pelicans to get in, bro. That's why they let all the teams in because the Pelicans. They could have just went with the 16 teams. <laughs> they added all them teams on the West just to make it. <laughs> that's, that's that's not that's not on Bi man. It's not on Bi. So in all fairness, I give you I give I give on, one more year. That's on Gentry. That's why he ain't there. Yeah, I agree, Craig. I'll get him one more year, Craig. I agree. One more year. I agree. I agree. One more year. I'm, hey, I'm, no, I'm no always exception. Fair. A full this year. Is, a full yeah. year. Give me my. A full I, year. Hey, that's he what I said. Stay, he got to stay healthy too, though. That's we got to win. Problem. Hey, bro, rolling ankles is part of the game, bro. Everybody rolls ankles. We, we fingers, if we ain't having no, if we ain't having no procedures, like we help. I mean, Zion, yeah. would he be hurt? I don't even know would be hurt. He just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I hope, I hope he gets in shape, man. I hope he gets in shape. Please get in shape for us, Zion. We need you, big boy. We need you. They need some pieces, man. But we got Goodness. a couple. Uh, All right. Got, 
No, nah, with Kawhi and B.I. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't know. All right. Uh, Brooke Lopez. Um, Harrison 28 Barnes. a game. <laughs> um, well, this goes on, man. He on, Robert this, Ory, this one of the all-time on. greats. But the thing is, you know what? Wait, let, 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 we got to stop. We got to stop some of this Laker bashing, too. We just saw. I was silent with, today. No, 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 no. The other night, what LeBron and AD did the other night. The other night, the game, the closing game. We should have gave them dudes some props, man. They just Oh, messed. my God. <laughs> Man, if you didn't know, why are we um, giving them credit for doing this... what they were supposed to do? <laughs> they they didn't even play pop. Oh, they almost lost game five. What are you talking game, about? Game didn't play. Melo gave the them twenty seven. Was... Like, oh man, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. All right, man. Um, for those of us that are watching, um, please please ignore Coach Pops. Um, all right. To both of them. Lakers didn't even average 30 uh, double figures in that series. Come on, man. We got to start giving these dudes. No, the don't, don't. So we were talking about the Clippers. <laughs> and what's a big – man, y'all got to stop doing that, man. Y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all got to stop giving Lake B, 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 makes B, the B, first, B. LeBron makes the B. first layup. We over here. Yeah. Give him well, some props. Give him the props man. for making his layup. Kid B, it's not doing it. Before the playoffs, or when the playoffs was coming – Everybody said, Port- the Lakers need to watch out for Portland. Man, they dismantled uh, them in everybody, five. Everybody picked them in I said Lakers five. in five. I no, said Lakers didn't. in five. No one said seven. You didn't even pick them. Who? Did you pick them? Did you know they were going to win in five? I thought you said six. I said, I said five. The one, five or six? I, I said six. I said, I said five. five. I, said, I was wrong. I said sweet. <laughs> he making it seem like he making it seem like man, game seven, uh, like two at the like, buzzer. Like, no, man, we knew they were gonna win. No, but y'all like Russ and Harden gonna be a problem. Game uh, it was it was a topic. It was a topic. AD, y'all don't never say AD, AD and LeBron gonna be a problem. Y'all never say that. Oh, right, everybody gonna be a problem. But like AD, like AD and Brian is like. See this. Cool. This is why. This is why I don't do. I don't do Laker topics. This is why. This is why. Because Laker fans can't. They can't separate their emotion, man. Every everything's a jab. I was solid today. I was you solid always, last week. Always, I'm solid. You All right, man. Throw, you always got throw the red and blue in there. Come on, pops, man. Red. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. That's man. All right, man. This this is uh, this is this is the end of the show. Uh, Please excuse Coach Pop's outburst. I don't even know what. Y'all don't we gonna, we gonna we gonna talk about that off the air, bro. Off the air, oh, off the air. Um, this is agree to disagree. Got my boy Jay. Who's uh, that? Coach Pops, Laker detective. Um, got Craig, and we got BG, and I'm John. Until next time, man. We out.